And so where do you start, right? In a in fantasy land, perfect world, we have a strong lean foundation, right? Our company has aligned goals and we have leaders who support standards and continuous improvement, right? That's definitely going to help you win because you're surrounded in that environment. However, for those of you who might not be living in that organization right now, you can still use this as a concept. I, When I left the transportation company and went somewhere else, I took it with me and I used it daily. And it actually rubbed off on my team. They always knew that I had this piece of paper and I was asking questions and following up and tracking progress. And they would constantly look at it. And then eventually they got used to it. And some of them actually started to use it and built it into their day. It didn't look like mine, which was fine, but they were using it to demonstrate consistency and repeatability. And when we showed up to meetings, people enjoyed working with us because we were consistent. We had answers. We followed up on what we said we were going to do. And they enjoyed working with us because we continued to deliver and demonstrate what great looks like. So where to start? There's different ways to start with this. My suggestion is current state. Understanding what you do today. Even if you're not hitting the goals and objectives that you're supposed to, you have to understand where you're spending your time. Start writing that down right? Potentially write down things you wanted to do, but you never got to because something is getting in the way. Again, that's where we problem solve to figure out why. <clears throat> we start to, if we start to use it, even if it's not perfect, even if it's just a list, we can start to understand what's working. But better yet, we're building in that habit of planning and doing what we said we were going to do. And throughout this time, you know, you're collecting data, you're, you're observing what's working, um, hopefully you're checking out how many meetings that you're going to, how many, how much time during the week are you spending in one-on-ones or developing your team or developing yourself, right? Maybe we need to do more or less of that to help us achieve our goals. And then in the end, we want to try and figure out what current state is. So I would say there's probably a, a two to three week area where you are collecting current state and writing down what you're doing. And then you can take a small pause and figure out, gosh, I'm not hitting my goals. I need to, I need to start adjusting things. Am I spending too much time in meeting? Am I doing someone else's job, right? Am I not delegating enough, right? That's where we can start to visualize what we want to do um, and we can start documenting it. And again, with that document, start adding stuff and slowly start removing things. It's a fantastic way to communicate someone that's, that's gonna be getting a new task. Um, you can easily demonstrate why they need to do it, why it's important. Um, and then obviously, you know, you, you don't have any more time to do it because you're not hitting your goals and objectives. And even better, when you start to hand off some of your activities, why not introduce standard work for leader to them, right? A grand, fantastic time to explain what it is and why you use it and how it can lead to success.